In this video, we're going to learn how to use ratio of segments to determine lengths of partitions or even entire segments. We're also going to use proportions from Algebra 1 to learn how to solve for the value of x and perhaps even plug it into an expression that represents the length that we need to find. So in example 1, we have to model the situation and use ratios and proportions to actually find a partition. So if B partitions or separates a directed line segment, AC, into a ratio of 3 to 2. What is the length of AB if AC is equal to 10? Draw the diagram to better visualize the situation. So let's draw that first. So here's our segment, AC. And then since B partitions, it means it's separating AC into two parts. So since the ratio of, uh, of AC, or the, I'm sorry, the partitions in AC created by B turns the segment into a ratio of 3 to 2, I'm going to make sure my partition is a little bit longer for AB, so B is going to be right around here. There's B. Okay. So then we have to figure out what the length of AB is if AC is 10. So we write, right away we know that the ratio is 3 to 2. So AB to BC is equal to 3 to 2. So let's write that proportion right now. So AB to BC, that is the same measurement. I'm not making the same measurement, but that ratio of that length to... AB to BC, that's equal to 3 to 2. That's very important for us to use. It's like a guide. So then, other information that we know is that AC is equal to 10. So this length from here to here is 10. Okay. So if we need to figure out what the length of AB is, well, we can say that AB is X right now. Okay. We're going to use BC and rewrite this as an expression in terms of AB. So right now we said that AB is equal to X. So to represent the expression BC, given our diagram and our information that we know, if we take 10, which is the entire length, and subtract what we don't want, that'll represent the length of BC, which in this case, if it's 10 minus X, that is our BC. So then using our proportion, we're going to substitute what we know. We know that x is going to be our ab, since that's what we defined it as, and then bc is 10 minus x. We're going to use this proportion to figure out what the length of uh, ab is, or what our value of x is. So there's our x that represents ab to bc, which is 10 minus x, equals 3 to 2. So all we did was substitute in the, uh, the length of ab into ab, and the length of BC into BC using this proportion. Now from Algebra 1 to solve a proportion we have to cross multiply so our cross products should be equal to one another. So we have X times 2 which is 2X equal to 3 times the quantity of 10 minus X. So in this case we have to distribute the 3 to the 10 and the negative X. So we get 30 minus 3X equals 2X. Solve for the value of X. So we're going to add 3X to both sides get 5x equals 30 and then finally divide both sides by 5 and then x equals 6 so right now we know that x equals 6 so we have to make sure we answer the question that what is the length of AB so going back to our problem um, we said that AB is actually equal to x so in this case it does work out that x is equal to AB so we know that AB is equal to x well we just found what the value of x is so therefore AB is equal to 6 so in these examples and using ratios, it's very important that we use our proportion that we give us, and then if a diagram is not provided, draw one to represent the situation. Okay. So then think about how you can subtract different partitions from an entire segment to write an expression that represents what you need to find in terms of the problem. Okay. So if you have any questions, make sure you ask. I'll write them down on the side, and we can definitely go over it in class. Thanks.